Hello there, my name is Michael Maynard and welcome back to Gorilla Picking. Now, what we're going to do today folks is have a look at some very cool tools indeed made by a chap called Andy Law. So Law Lock Tools in the UK is his business. Now, Andy is a very, very, very interesting gentleman. He has been in the, shall we say, security industry for a very long time, several decades, and his main bread and butter, his main product lines, you are never going to see listed on his website. So he makes the sort of very high-tech covert entry stuff that only gets sold to governments. So uh, the military, police, that, that sort of stuff. So um, it's not the sort of stuff that you're going to see every day. Now, over the last couple of years, he has branched out and started making more conventional, shall we say, lock picking kits for the same kind of guys that use his covert high tech stuff. So that is where these tools have come from. Now, he has sent me a, uh, a set here to review, a thing called the Increment Pro uh, lock picking set. And I will tell you now, this is a very, very, very cool kit. It is really no nonsense. Now, um, it's actually very different from the stuff that I'm accustomed to using. So I am used to using very delicate um, little stuff like this, okay, like the Sparrows Tron. Because all the picking that I do, I do inside, sitting at my desk with a lock and a vice under controlled circumstances. Now... This, on the other hand, is designed for guys who are out on uh, wet, cold nights in the pissing rain, uh, maybe wearing a pair of gloves and uh, needing to do a job and get in and out. So um, these are made under a very different set of parameters, if you like. So the first thing I'd like to show you about them is just how big the things are. All right. Now, um, here is the Nessie, and we'll talk about the Nessie in a minute, um, but the Nessie is part of this kit. Um, it is a good centimetre and a half, so a good 15 mils longer than the uh, the Sparrow's pick. And believe it or not, these things weigh three times as much as these ones do. So um, the, uh, the Sparrow's picks come in at five grams, so do the Peterson ones, but... Uh, this stuff here is 16 grams, believe it or not. So each pick is, is three times as heavy as one of the standard ones that I'm used to. So I think you can see from that, guys, that these are tools, not toys. These are built for professionals. They're built for pros, hence the name. Um, and they are built to last. Now, another thing that you might have noticed about this handle while I was waving it around, um, it is a funny shape. It is banana shape. Now that is so that is it is ergonomically easy to use when you are picking with pins up. So um, most European locks are mounted on the door like that. That's a Euro profile lock and the pins are poking up. Now these picks are designed so that you can get in there and pick like that and it makes a lot of sense. Now, I have to say, I did struggle with these picks for a wee while because I picked this way up, and in order to do that, um, you actually end up not using the whole back half of, uh, of this handle. So this whole back half of the handle is, is just dead weight. And I will be absolutely frank with you guys, I was really worried about this, okay? Worried to the point where I thought, Shit, I, I can't do a review on this because I, I'm just going to have to mark it down because of this, you know. And I thought, shit, okay, look, I've got to talk to Andy about this. So I did. I emailed him and had a word with him. And uh, he, <laughs> he basically laughed at me, all right. Um, him and Tippity have been working on these, on these picks for the last six months. And those boys are so far ahead of me that it's not funny. So um, what... Uh, Andy said was, okay, look, yes, um, we're aware that, that these handles are fairly big, um, and yeah, they're pretty heavy, and yeah, if you're using them pins down, they're good, but if you're using them pins up, they're a bit difficult, but um, we're actually making them in a shorter, skinnier, straight version as we speak, and I just sort of thought, oh, 
okay well that's me told you know <laughs> um, but but it's got to be said I was relieved you know because I really did think that I was going to have to say okay folks well um, if if you pick this way up this isn't the set for you um, it turns out that we're going to have a, uh, a set like this that's, that's going to be much more versatile so that's got the negative thing out of the way um, now let's talk about the positives and by god there are a lot of positives to talk about with this kit the thing that I like about it it is hellishly robust so these are all 23 thousandths, 0.6 of a mil they are stainless steel they are the good stainless so I'm sure you guys know there are stainless steels and then there are stainless steels okay this is the good stuff and it really is robust eh? it's bloody solid which was exactly what it was designed for because it's designed for guys using it in the field right and the other thing that I really like about it is that you get a massive range both of the modern stuff and the really old school stuff as well so um, when I say old school I mean things like the snake rake here um, I mean things like the city rake I mean things like a half diamond here we go we've, we've got a dirty old half diamond sitting down the back here this is stuff that modern lot pickers very rarely use okay um, but guys that have been in the game for a long time absolutely love this old school stuff so this kind of half diamond the, the snake rake all those sort of things um, they are beloved by the older school guys um, who have been using this stuff for a long time so that's why Andy's included that um, the other thing that we've got we have got a really quite huge range of rakes now I'm not a raker guys okay I, I do not rake well but if you're into raking then you get the Nessie in two different thicknesses so you get a real new new brand new design rake um, you get a triple peak so if effectively a, a Bogota type style one you get some double peaks you get a worm rake you, you get all kinds of stuff eh? so if you are accustomed to getting through doors with rakes this has got a pick in here for you and uh, over on the hook side of things so these are all the hooks over here this is the stuff that I'm more interested in not only do you get the standard um, short medium and steep hooks like everybody else gives you all right but you also get some fairly specialized stuff as well so um, you do get the half diamond that I mentioned earlier you do get one of these long swoop profiles that again are beloved of American pickers in particular so guys in the USA absolutely love this particular style it's, it's not one that I've ever got on with but the Americans love it um, there is a DeForest style pick down here um, there's an even more bent DeForest style there's there's all kinds of profiles here designed for all kinds of locks and it is obvious it's blatantly clear that Andy has put an awful lot of thought into this set. Uh, the other thing I like about it, and uh, this might seem like a bloody stupid thing, okay, but you get real value for money with your turning tools. So, okay, right, it's, it's got a whole bunch of bottom of the keyway turning tools. I'm not going to talk about those because everybody does the same thing. But with the top of the keyway tools, you get those in three different thicknesses. This is the thicker one. And like everybody else they give you a long and a short end so that's because some uh, cylinders are set back deeper and so you obviously need to get around with a with a longer um, end to it that's cool but here's the thing uh, you also get serrations on one end and no serrations on the other I'll just see if you guys can see that a little bit better um, that is the serrated end and that end there has no serrations at all now you wouldn't think that that made much difference but by god it does and what I have found in fact is that the two different ends of the same thickness turning tool will actually go into two different size um, locks two, two different size keyways I was amazed at how much more versatility I got just from that so um, you know in theory you get three of these things okay but by the time you take this extra thing you, you've actually got six different top of the keyway turning tools and I really 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 like that okay 
Now listen, I think I have raved long enough and hard enough about this. Um, it is, a, I'll, I'll just summarise it, okay? It is a very good, no-nonsense, built like a brick out house set, mainly for guys who make their living getting through locks uh, that perhaps hobbyists, in perhaps ways that hobbyists don't. Let's, let's put it that way, okay? Now, Tiffany here in New Zealand has been working with Andy over in the UK and between the two of them they have been designing some more tools. Now this stuff here is hot off the press guys. Um, these are three shapes that Tiffany has designed for Andy. They are in 19 thousandths so all of this stuff is 23. This is 19 thou. And these are not beginners, beginners tools, folks. These are serious hooks for serious lock pickers, okay? Um, they are three very cool shapes. They really and truly, they boil down to a short, medium, and steep hook, okay? But each of them has got a little kind of a wrinkle, a little extra feature. So, um, for example, the short hook here has got this little scoop, this, this little cut out here um, just at the end of the shaft to make it get under much more difficult bitting. So it's converted uh, what would basically be a short hook really into a, a sort of a combination between a short and a medium. Now the medium hook is shaped very much like uh, the lunatic, so the, the sparrow's lunatic, but it's much better designed, so it's much shorter after the bend and much less fragile. And believe me, this thing is an absolute weapon. There are a lot of locks you can get into with that. And then the steep hook, what they've done here is thin down the shank on this as thin as they possibly can. So this will get into far, far tighter and more paracentric keyways than you would think. Now that, in fact, is why this isn't a set for beginners, okay? These three hooks, if you are heavy-handed with these, you're going to wreck them and you're not going to get into anything, all right? But trust me when I tell you, if you are a, an advanced picker, if, if you need some picks to get into fairly difficult locks, then these are bloody good. And uh, I believe that these are going to be available with the thinner straight handles as well. Um, those, th these as they are, are good, all right. And with the thinner straighter handles, they're going to be absolutely magnificent. They really are. So I think that's probably enough renting for me for one day, guys. Um, I, I'll tell you again, right? I really like this stuff, despite. The drawback it has with the no the perceived drawback that I thought it had with the with the larger heavier handle, um, they are bloody good picks designed to be robust to get into an awful different number of locks in an awful lot of different number of circumstances, and uh, the stuff that's evolving here is going to get you into even more. So, thanks for watching, folks. I am going to uh, give this set away, so I'm not going to do that in this video, I'm probably going to do it in the next one, okay? But thank you for watching, I appreciate you um, sticking with me because this has been a 13 minute review, it's been quite a long review, alright? Um, thanks for sticking with me, thanks for watching, and I'd like to hear your comments, so put some stuff below. Thanks guys!